Yo, when his verses shit started, right? It was with uh, Timberland and Swiss Beats. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't really give a shit about two motherfuckers uh, playing music back to back, which, you know, they didn't even record on as far as vocally. I just thought it was just like, ah, oh, whatever. But not to uh, not to take away the Timberland and Swiss Beats on the three fucking greatest producers ever. But then when it went to. Uh, Nelly and Ludacris, I tuned in because I was like, yo, yo, they got hits, man. I want to see what's, yo, and it was fucking amazing. Minus the fact that Nelly's fucking Wi-Fi connection was pure ass. And then they had, who else? Then that one was good. That got me into it. Then they had like, what the, I don't even know because I, I didn't watch it. I really didn't care. It was like Jagged Edge and um, fucking 112, I think. I didn't watch that. I had no interest in that. But then, I thought it was like, man, whatever. Then I heard that DMX was going to take on Eminem. And I was like, no fucking way. They're going to go that big. <clears throat> but they didn't. Instead, they got another one. Snoop Dogg. I was like, holy shit. When I sat and thought about it, I was like, yo, Snoop Dogg? Versus DMX? What? Hold up, I'm at Burger King. Welcome to Burger King. We'll be right with you. Alright. To make some match. She look crazy steak house cat. So sorry about that. What can I get for you? Yeah, let me get the steakhouse king. Let me quickly find that. I just got in and they added something, so let me find that for a sec. Single or double? What? What do you 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 mean as far as the sandwich? Yeah, the sandwich it comes in single, also it comes as a double. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, uh, single. It's all good. Single? Yeah. Anything else? Uh, and I want the meal with that. You want the meal? What size? Uh, medium. And what would you like to drink? Uh, Dr. Dr. Pepper, no ice. Dr. Pepper, no ice. Is that it? No, and let me get two eight-piece nuggets. Any sauce? Yeah, uh, like two barbecue and two honey mustard. Anything else? One second, and let me get. Do you have? Wait, oh no, wait, they're valuing me. They're let me get. Uh, I should have double cheese. A bacon cheeseburger. Bacon cheeseburger. Anything else? That's it. Sixteen oh three. Please pull up. All right, thank you. Yo, back to what I was saying. I'm gonna keep that in the video because this is real shit. It's Thursday. I eat one fucking dirty meal a week and this is my dirty meal fuck i should have told them niggas to double it i fucked up i'm sorry the steakhouse thing can you make it a double please yeah i'm sorry i just thought about it Stop, man. You scared the shit out of me. Stop. Thank you. How much are fries? Huh? How much are fries? Depending on what size. Like a uh, uh, medium fries. 
319 plus tax. 319, how about a small? 289 plus tax. Yeah, let me get a, yeah. A small fry added to that, sorry. Thank you so much. Hold up. I'm gonna talk about this. Just give me one second. Is this everything? What the fuck is annoying? What the fuck is that? Let's make sure it's not going to come on two times. Oh shit. Excuse me! Excuse me! Okay, can I get more sauce, please? Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Real shit. Anyways, back to it. Like I said, exactly. Got to make sure because you know, fix up the name a little bit. Anyways, back to it. DMX versus Snoop Dogg. I was like, oh shit, they bring out the big dogs now. The only time I heard about Snoop Dogg being involved with this is when uh, I think Ja Rule wanted to battle 50 Cent. And 50 Cent said, oh nah, well, Ja Rule don't got that many hits. I would have to battle somebody like Snoop Dogg. You know what I thought in my head? Nigga, 50's on crack. If he thinks he has a catalog big enough to mess with Snoop. You, yo. 50 has like four albums. We're talking about hit for hit. We're not talking about mixtape shit or fucking any of that shit. We're talking about hit for hit, like a, a fucking PIMP or 21 Questions. We're not talking about some fucking G Unit song that came out on a fucking mixtape. We're talking about hit for hit. 50 would not survive again. I know, no, I don't even. It would. Who the hell would want to see that? If somebody with such a small catalog against Snoop Dogg. It don't make no sense. I, in my head, when he said that, I was like, only a few people could go against Snoop. They gotta have a catalog. They gotta be at been in the game a long time, cause then they're not gonna last. It would either be somebody like a DMX, somebody like a Jay Z, somebody like a Nas. Ja, his career ended way too quick. <laughs> I'm sorry, his career ended way too quick for him to have, you know, that like after the 50 shit, he didn't. Ha he had like maybe two or three more hits left in his career, and then that was basically it. So you can't. He could have been, but he, he wasn't. John got hits, though. Fucking Eminem. You know, somebody who had, who's been in the game. 50, he's the, he, he wouldn't survive. 50, and when then, and then on a the side note, when 50 said to T.I., or T.I. said 50, perfect. Perfect. Catalog for catalog. I don't know who to win in that shit. But then DMX and Snoop Dogg, I wasn't even thinking about it. King, did you think DMX was going to battle Snoop Dogg? Exactly. Me neither. I was like, wait, what? Oh, shit. That makes all the sense in the world. Snoop Dogg versus what? Made sense. A hundred percent. Thank God. I, yo, I saw it for a little bit because I was going to, because I wanted to catch it on YouTube because I want to put it on my TV and, and through a Instagram live, I can't fucking throw it on my TV. So I waited for the shit to hit the, the, the YouTube. But holy shit. No, that I saw 15 minutes of it because I couldn't wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it later on, on fucking uh, YouTube on my big screen. Like I said, I already did, I'm sorry I'm driving this. I already did see it on YouTube, but I'm gonna see it on my big screen later. There you go. But when I saw that shit, yo, I was like, holy shit, this is fucking marvelous. When you hear the hits that DMX got, dog, DMX is one of the greatest. I'm not gonna lie. DMX was not in my top five 
conversation because I, I don't know. I guess I forgot, man. I forgot. Fuck, I forgot. When I saw DMX go head to head with Snoop and fucking survive, I was like, yo, this nigga X, how did I forget? Yo, X is, oh my God. Unbelievable how many hits this guy got. And I grew up in that era, so I should know. And I did know, because every song that each of them played, I knew what it was. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you something, yo. Unbelievable how good that shit was. This is what this shit should be about. Fuck the Burger King. Fuck the Shades. I'm just kidding. But, yo, that's how it needs to be, man. Now, this got me back into it. Because, man, they were saying some shit like fucking... I don't... Yo, I didn't want to say no names. But some people wanted to battle. And they were sounding like so garbage. It's like, yeah, nobody want to see that, man. 50 versus T.I., that would be good. But both of them... I don't know what the hell is the holdup. They could do it like DMX and Snoop. Be in the same place and no stalling. And nobody has bad Wi-Fi and shit. Perfect. That's the way you do it. This versus shit is the next level of hip hop for, you know, I guess you could say old rappers. But it's, fuck, it's, it's, it's amazing the thing that the young rappers can't do. They don't even have a catalog. And I heard of these two fucking Chicago rappers who are in the game. Though I don't even know their fucking name. I don't, man, I don't give a fuck. I really don't. I don't know their name. They were gonna do a, a they they were gonna do or they did do a versus and that shit and they just did it on their own and it, that went like nowhere because dog nobody cares about two niggas who don't fucking have no history like it's not just about oh let's play the song for song and people hear the song for the first time the point is for you to have a smash classic hit and play it against somebody else who has smash fucking classic hits that's the point the point is not to be like. Well, I'm gonna play a good song you never heard. It's pretty good, so hear it. Like, nigga, that's not the way it does. Stupid. But, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, yo, on fucking Baliba Bato.